Why do some pe people feel that they need to cheat to win? That's what we're going to talk about right now. Yes, cheating goes on in professional fishing. It happens all the time. And we're going to talk about that and look at this video and maybe how things could have been done differently. So if you missed what happened on Friday at the Lake Erie walleye fishing tournament, good for you to start off with. I actually saw a video on Saturday and I really didn't want to make this video, but the more I started looking into it and start thinking about it, it irritated me. I'm going to tell, talk about some stories that I've been, that I've had personally happen to me. And we're going to talk about why these guys probably shouldn't have been in the tournament to start off with. Friday was the Lake Erie Walleye Fishing Tournament and, and two anglers were going to win before the tournament director questioned their fish and felt them. When he felt them, he then asked them to move them to the side and then he cut them open and found eight pounds of weights and also fillets of walleye inside these fish. It leads to a lot of other questions that should be asked about this tournament to start off with. Now I, I respect all the anglers and appreciate the guys who do things right, but to be honest, when there's money involved in something or winning money involved in something, there's a lot of people that are gonna try to, to skate the gray area and try to do things sketchy so that they win. It happens in all sports as much as we don't want to admit it. And then there's been other things that have happened this year in like Major League Fishing and in other fishing tournaments where they've gotten information or they've, there's been all sorts of stuff. People are gonna cheat to win. In the Redfish tournament years ago, Redfish Cup years ago, there was an angler that put weights or had fish pinned. They would open up their live wells as they left and then they would go fish. There wouldn't be a cameraman or anybody else and then they, they'd go to a spot where they had pre-fished, caught the fish, put them in a, a crab pot or a stringer or someplace where they would continue to live, go there, undo it, put the fish in the live well and the fish, they were catching fish. There's little things that can have happened over the years that have made tournament fishing have that gray area. And really, with the two guys in question, I'm not gonna mention their name because I don't wanna give them any more recognition for anything that they've done. But they were questioned years ago as to, did they cheat, are they cheating? and they failed polygraphs, and in one instance, everybody was donating their fish meat to a local uh, food bank, and these guys didn't want it, obviously, well not obviously, maybe because they had weights in those ones too, and if you cut them up, they would have found more things, but it leads to question that if those anglers are in that tournament, why are they there? So I know what some people are gonna say, you're innocent until proven guilty, but if you failed polygraphs, or you've done snagged a fish, or you've, uh, asked for information. Isn't that making you guilty already? We should be held accountable for the actions that we have. If there's even a question of someone cheating, skirting the, the gray line, or doing things shady, a tournament should take them out. There should be no way of them competing against others because they're taking money out of other people's mouths, they're getting sponsorship money, and other things. Those two guys in question, and not even in question, it's been proven that they, that they cheated, should not have been allowed to fish. If there's even a hint of it, you shouldn't be allowed to fish. Keeping the integrity of the fishing tournament is the most important thing that that group can do. The problem that we have here is our industry is very small. As much as we might think it's this giant conglomerate, it really isn't. While we make a lot of money, and or the industry makes a lot of money and there's a lot of money spent in this industry if we're going to have cheaters and people that are breaking the rules it only hurts us as a group that's the really hurtful thing here as much as i don't know that walleye group or know those anglers at all it all trickles down to everyone a sponsor should not sponsor someone who's cheating that's that's the key here. Like I said, this is a really a small group of us. And when the outside media starts looking into fishing and they start hearing all the stories of cheating and all these things that happen, it really hurts us as a community. And that's where this bothers me the most. I did not want to do this video at all. I actually had someone 
text me on Saturday, even though I didn't have electricity, saying, hey, dude, you need to look at this. And I watched it on. I went outside, got on my cell phone, and watched it. And I was disgusted by it. I thought it was good that the tournament director held the guys accountable right then and asked the people not to do anything to them. But quite honestly, in my opinion, you do something like that, you better be prepared for someone kicking your ass. When you're taking money out of my mouth and other people's mouth, even though I wasn't there, I'm using that as an example, there's going to be some issues. So I, I commend all the other anglers, but at the same time, I question why if people weren't suggesting that these guys were cheating in doing this, why it wasn't caught earlier. That's what we need to do. The rules are rules for a reason. We should be held accountable for the things that we do. But there's a lot of guys that just are out there because they want to fish. They want that competition. I've always said I would never fish a fishing tournament because I didn't want it to take away the fun of fishing. When you put money involved in that stress, it takes away the second, my second favorite thing in life. That's the truth. My family's the first. My fishing is the second thing I enjoy more than anything. And having that competition, I love competition. And hell, if you come over to my house and want to fish at the fish frog pond, I'm going to try to beat you. But when we put money involved in it, things can start to get a little sketchy. You're going to start to skate that gray line. You're going to do things that normally you wouldn't do because there's money on the line. While I appreciate what the tournament director did, I think if there was any possibility of that, those guys having that reputation, I think the tournament director did the wrong thing by, by allowing them to fish. If there's a cheater, pull their ass out. Don't give them the opportunity to take money away from the rest of the guys that are good. Because there's a lot of good people that will call out themselves in a fishing tournament if they do something wrong. I think overall, I think most of us would agree. Cheating should not be allowed in this industry. And if you're allowing it, you're just making things worse for all of us. Again, I didn't want to post this. I didn't want to make this video, to be honest. I, I don't like this. I don't want to be the Mr. Negative. I don't want controversial clicks. That's the truth. I want to be able to tell you and explain to you the things that I've dealt with and, and deal with because of the industry that I've been part of for close to 20 years. And uh, I try to show you the brighter parts of some of it, make some fun of some th certain things, but this is not an issue that you can make fun of. This is really a shitty situation. And we'll grow from this, but the problem is we need to grow more because the outside media looking in and the normal people who don't fish now look at this as uh, a black mark on the reputation of professional fishing tournaments. They already don't like that some fish die, so we have to deal with that. Now we have to worry about people constantly saying that people are cheating, and that stinks. We have to do better as a community. I'm not saying anything negative about fishing tournaments. I will. I do think that the that fishing tournament should be held more, a little bit more accountable. I, I appreciate how they handled it and how they dealt with it there on the spot, but if they knew about what was going on, it should have been handled differently. And I'm not saying they knew or whatever, but you fail polygraphs, I think there's something to be said about that. Uh, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Take a look at the other videos. See for yourself. Gather the information. And let's get out there and do something better. Remember, take a kid fishing as always. Take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. We'll see y'all soon. Cheers.